Inside a huge warehouse in a Detroit suburb, engineers are working on a secret project. Some of these motions are pretty tight. Right now, it's pretty risky. Teaching this massive robot... The move was way too close. ...how to boogie. Here we go, dance number two. Ron Bergerman is an engineer at KUKA Robotics. He's in charge of running the programming that controls the dance moves of this 2,300 kilogram, 5,000 pound machine. Tonight's a deadline. Today, he's testing out a new dance routine, an improved version of what he's been working on so far. We really can't afford any mistakes right now. Time is ticking. In a few days, this robot will be on its way to Texas for its big reveal at South by Southwest. And Ron's not leaving anything up to chance. Of course, in a trade show, everything bad that can happen usually happens. The robot is strong and fast enough to damage, even destroy itself. So the dance has to be delicate and precise. You never know exactly how the robot is going to respond. And so we have to be careful that uh, the robots are happy with the programs and don't damage themselves. To add to the pressure, KUKA's president, Jerry Osman, is here to check in on their progress. You get a little nervous. So many different things that can collide on this guy. What this creature is comprised of is four robots. The, the big robot is a, a large robot that's normally used in heavy duty applications in industry. So it's carrying three smaller robots and we're trying to coordinate the motion between all four of those robots to make it look like a human. These robots are normally used in factories doing uh, mundane or dangerous tasks. This is the first time we've done something exactly like this. Gonna work? We're getting there, we're getting close. You don't like the look or you think it's dangerous? Ron's been working with two okay. roboticists in LA. They animate all of the robot's motions and then send the commands for Ron to run on the real thing. I mean, we go through this cycle, I don't know, five or six times a day by the time we get something right. It's, okay, two different issues then. That severe jerk before the soft limit and the soft limit itself, okay. Give me a little bit of time and I'll, I'll test this, give you some feedback, okay? I'll call you in a little bit. No problem. Okay, Bye. thanks John, bye. Ready, set, go. To create the illusion that this is one creature, they must get the limbs and joints to work in harmony, because any change in acceleration could throw the whole thing out of sync. And we're at like a minute and 25, so he's got to add another 30 seconds to the dance profile, then add the video and audio, then we'll lock that one down. Every time he adds more movement, to extend it in time, it tends to add issues sometimes. Clear to see on the screen, the spike would identify a major change in acceleration or a major change in speed, which results in a big jerk on the robot. We're just trying to smooth these out. Ron sends performance data to LA, then more refinements come back. I'm ready to go. One, one last test. Okay, I think uh, John's last profile is looking pretty solid. Oh, much smoother. We had a couple of severe jerks in there that he completely eliminated. Uh, much improved for sure. This robot is ready to rumba. Yeah, it, it look, sort of looks like it's alive. I think, I think with the eyes moving, it's going to be really cool. Pretty wild. 